So how do we get back out? We sing. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. this what happened to him something we did no something else the dead giant why would the serpent leave us here look Still trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last... 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do... This path you walk, vengeance, you will find no peace, I know. You, I'll deal with you later, but family first.
this again. Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. More than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. <gasps> She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it! I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you!
Atreus! Atreus! I'm up here! I'm okay! And I'm doing wonderful! I've never felt so alive! Stop this! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it?
father. Not a threat. You will not come to us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <sighs> Paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my 
father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Bardo say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss, but such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Tell me what happened with the stonemason's son. Ringthur, son of Thamu. After completing his father's masterwork, the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight the war, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Ringthur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. Rainthor made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Rhea was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard, and when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harinthu knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin, and I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. 
some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash, if not sooner. Want to see what we can trade those for? 